I'm Tom Vargo. I'm Mac Fay. And we live in Glen Lake Subdivision. Uh, I live on the Poplar side. <laughs> and I live at the Cedarbrook side. And we have a problem with the storm sewer that runs from here all the way out to the street. It has collapsed. We, uh, we've reached out to the city on a few occasions. Uh, Mac has had some issues in the past where they've come and fixed it. And um, they have basically told us that because it's a private easement, that it's our responsibility. Um, Mac, there's seven of these, right? There's seven private easements in this development in Glen Lakes. Two are marked private. The other five are marked public, which the city is responsible for. And we are trying to figure out why ours is private, who made it private, and what do we need to do to get it fixed. Mac has reached out to somebody and to just put an insert in here, not to fix the problem, just to put an insert is $20,000. And the, in, the insert would start from there at the, at the base of the uh, storm sewer all the way out underground to the street um, but still won't fix it because the pipes are still separating at the joints. Correct. At least three of them. One, and you can see there's two other flags that when you walk there you will feel that the ground's given away and um, Mac had somebody come out to videotape it so we know exactly where they're at. It's all marked off and you can see where inside of the tubing you can see where the ground it's, it's wet or you can see where it's leaking at least in these three spots there could be more we just haven't come across them yet and maybe i wasn't listening but there's there's some that are marked as a public easement there's some that are not and what is this one marked this particular easement is marked as a private storm sewer easement correct there's seven total in the Glen Lake subdivision. Five out of the seven the city are responsible for. There's two with the exception that they are listed as private. Uh, the surveyor in 1976 arbitrarily put down, as we feel, as it's a private easement versus a public easement. Thus, the city refuses to take the responsibility to fix their storm sewer system in our... Uh, it's 114 feet from here to the street that need to get repaired. And was the whole subdivision built at the same time? Uh, that know? I don't know because I'm not. neither one of us are the original um, homeowners. We're, I think we're second or third. I believe, don't get me, don't quote me on this, I don't know the records. I believe Glen Lake was done like that way, was done first, because at the, at the light post out front, different street. So it stopped there, all this was built, and then I think they came down and finished building it this way. Okay. So you, I'm on Poplar and you're on? Cedarbrook. Cedarbrook. And correct me if I'm wrong, but at one time the city did come out under a different city manager, probably a different engineer, and did make repairs or at least fill in the, the holes? The city in 2014 had come out. We had a sinkhole at the base of the storm sewer drain. Um, approximately, probably a little less, probably four feet wide, maybe four or five feet deep. Uh, I made a phone call to the city manager at that time. He sent a crew out, repaired the hole. That was the first one. And then they did another one. I don't know the exact date, but they've been here twice to repair two separate sinkholes under the city's expense. Uh, when I called the previous city manager in 2015 or 16, when this appeared, he came out in the winter time, inspected it, said that since the ground is frozen, they'll wait till the springtime, 
they'll come back out and repair the hole. In between the, the winter and springtime is when he resigned as a city manager, and problem has uh, has been has been a problem ever since. And growing. And one of your problems right now is no communication, right? They refuse to correspond with myself or Mr. Vargo probably, well, probably since November, December of 2019. I've not heard anything back from anybody. When was the last time you contacted the city? Uh, through email, February or March. Okay. Asking, they offered to meet with us at the site. The city engineer and the city manager were going to meet with us. We agreed, and since then they will. They have not cooperated with us whatsoever. Okay. I, I did hire an attorney. Uh, the attorney sent a letter. Sent a letter to the city. Uh, city councilor, uh, city attorney. Uh, sent the attorney, our attorney, uh, uh, my attorney, a letter saying that since it is marked private, they have no responsibility to fix the storm sewer system. Do, do you know when that correspondence came back to you? Is it pretty recent? It was probably last fall, wasn't it? When right before you, um, right before uh, the city stopped communicating with you. It was uh, no, October, November of last year. Okay. Uh, the, the attorney I had was just, I want to say it was last month, when he was he received a letter from uh, the city's attorney saying that they are refusing to do any, any repairs. Okay. And in the, in the city, I will defend them this way. It does say on our, on our, our property, um, layout that this is a private easement. I'm not. I'm not going to question that. What I'm questioning is why. Why are two out of seven private? It does. I can't. I can't comprehend that. If that's just a, like I said in the in the article, if that's an arbitrary decision made by a surveyor, how can the city let that go through? That's what I don't understand. And you also have the precedent of them coming out and correct and helping. Correct. Okay. What is it right now you would like to see happen? Uh, I would say first and foremost, I would like to, like I told you, I'd like to get this fixed. Um, I'm just afraid that somebody's going to get hurt. Um, Mac has grandchildren. I have grandchildren. They do come out and run around. Now, we watch them, but still and all, you can't watch them every second that they're out here. So I would like to get it fixed. But I, I really think, not, I, I think we need to talk. We need to figure out why the city is, is, is doing this. Just because it says private, is that your only claim to fame here? I, th I just have a hard time comprehending that. I mean, um, that, that's, that, especially since they came out and fixed it, Max problem, two other times. So this isn't like this is the first time this has happened. It's just gotten this big. So I, I guess that's how I feel about it. If, if it would be nice if they would actually correspond with us besides sending them not besides saying it's not their responsibility. He offered to come out with the city engineer and meet with Tom and I. Since then, that has been taken off the table for some reason. I don't know why, because we get nothing back in the city whatsoever. Um, so a meeting with them here at the property, somebody who can explain to me that a storm sewer system built by the city of Loveland or this, the Metropolitan Sewer District that was signed over to the City of Loveland, how possibly it could be the re, their homeowner's responsibility to fix their storm sewer. As I pay each month a storm sewer charge on my utility bill, along with everybody else in this neighborhood, mm -hmm. there's estimated 15 houses that may use this water runoff drain that all come through our yards. The storm sewer charge on your utility bill is for the upkeep and the maintaining of the storm sewer system properly. That's what I pay. That's what every neighbor here does pay. It happens to be in our backyard. As, as the age, the sewer pipes are, are 
are separating and it they need to be fixed. And I feel that the city of love is responsibility to take care of it since they did do it twice before. Or I, I, I think the city of Lovin, since if it's our property and we're responsible for it, then the city of Loveland owes us uh, money for people's water coming into our storm sewer uh, uh, for 25 plus years plus interest. So, you know, you guys, somebody's got to figure it. it it's not that hard. It's just simply a matter of sitting down and talking. Let me ask kind of a geeky question maybe, but This great is to drain surface water and it will go out to the street. Correct. But there's also, or correct me if I'm wrong, is there other pipes coming this way? There is um, drain tile pipes that come uh, this way. Are they and connected here? Yes, because the water, if you don't have the water draining, it sits. And it, then you get mosquitoes and you, you, know, you just got a lot of issues with it. So, there's drain tile on both of these. Um, then there's two pipes coming from up the top okay. of the street, or from up there, I think that has to do with their gutter system and possibly their sump pump running down into this. And now I don't know, I don't stand here and watch it, okay. but there are two other pipes coming out of that side of the, um, out of that side of the uh, storm sewer that I don't know where they go to. And the reason I was asking that is, uh, Absent the surf, surface water from the rain right here, going here, mm -hmm. it's still not working because it's not carrying a, enough water out, is it? it? I think it does. It, I just don't think it does it fast like it used to before it caved in. So my answer is because it probably does. there is flooding occasionally here. Um, yeah, we get, a, we get a good hard rainstorm. Uh, Mac has some pictures that you can see that um, it's moved a 30 pound, 40 pound potted plant, potted picked it up plant, and started having it float away. Down toward yep. the drain hole. Yep. I have video of me in the backyard with the water as deep as above my knees. Um, running down into the, into the with a, with a, a um, with, Eddie? Uh, a with whirlpool? a whirlpool right here, just trying to accept the water. But with the holes, with the with the gravel and the backfill that's down in the pipe now, which we've seen on our video through the company, it's backing up quicker, quicker into our yard.